the students organized themselves to go and demonstrate against the committee. And uh, they were here for three days. It, we got mad. We got mad about the fact we couldn't get in to hear what was going on. And we began to sing and um, chant and let us in and blah, blah. And at some point in the middle of the day, um, somebody from the police department uh, ordered fire hoses and we were washed down the city hall steps inside the building, inside the rotunda, down the marble steps um, with fire hoses, with high pressured water hoses. It was very frightening, I have to tell you. There was this echoing sound and screaming and the sound of the water and I don't know if you've ever been to City Hall, but it's a, the rotunda is this very contained thing around, a structure around the, the, the big marble steps that come down. And the sound reverberated in a way that was, you know, pretty frightening. It's hard to explain to people who didn't live through the, seven, uh, the 50s how grim they were. Um, there was almost no social movements of any note. If there were, they were very sort of under pressure and the student movement. I remember at State College I got angry because the quality of the food in the cafeteria was terrible. And I tried to circulate a petition to improve the food and nobody would sign it. It was like people were afraid to put their names on petitions because it was a practice for the committee and other organizations hunting down communists to pursue people based on whether they had signed a petition or not. So people were very cheery about putting their name on any kind of petition. The cops made this strategical, strategic error, which was to pull out, pull out the hoses, wash us down the stairs, and arrest so many of us. And of course, it hit the front pages of papers across the country. And um, it really initiated what then became the activism of the 60s um, in the student movement. And simultaneous to it was the movement in the South to register voters. And many, many young people who'd been active in the student movement volunteered themselves to go to the South to register voters and, you know, jeopardize their lives and put their lives in danger, etc. Um, so the wonderful 60s began in earnest.